Turkey has officially introduced its latest leap in missile technology, the Tayfun Block 4, during the 17th International Defense Industry Fair, IDF, 2025 in Istanbul, held from July 22 to 27. Developed by defense firm Roketsin, the Tayfun Block 4 is a next-generation hypersonic ballistic missile designed to significantly boost the nation's long-range precision strike capabilities. Its public debut was accompanied by five other advanced weapon systems, marking a critical milestone in Turkey's growing defense industry. The unveiling drew top brass from the Turkish armed forces and leading defense sector executives. Notable attendees included the chiefs of the Turkish Land and Naval Forces, the head of the Presidency of Defense Industries, SSB, and Roketsin CEO Murat Akinci. More than 1,300 companies, 900 domestic and 400 international, participated in IDF, with delegations representing 103 countries. 44 nations showcased their defense sectors through national pavilions. According to Murat Akinci, Tayfun Bloc, for will enter operational service with the Turkish military by the end of 2025 and will not be offered for export at this stage. This missile is designed solely for domestic defense needs, underscoring Turkey's focus on national security independence. The Tayfun Bloc, for is a hypersonic evolution of the original Tayfun missile, initially tested in 2022 and brought into production after follow-up tests in 2023 and early 2025. This new version measures 10 meters long, has a diameter of 938 millimeters, and weighs roughly 7.2 tons. Powered by solid fuel propellant, it can be launched from Volat mobile platforms and guided by a combination of inertial navigation, GPS, and GLONASS systems, with an accuracy margin between 5 and 10 meters. With a top speed estimated at Mach 5 and an initial range of 800 kilometers, the Tayfun Block 4 is built to deliver devastating precision against high-value targets such as command centers, aircraft hangars, radar arrays, and infrastructure hubs. Officials noted that future variants could push past the 1,000-kilometer mark. The missile features a high-explosive, pre-fragmented warhead and is hardened against electronic warfare threats, allowing for operations in all weather and lighting conditions. Designed to fire rapidly from mobile launchers, Tayfun Block 4 is optimized for flexibility and survivability. Its speed and maneuverability aim to outpace existing air defense systems. Turkish analysts point to its lineage tracing back to the 1990s Yildirim program and note that it shares roots with the Bora tactical missile, also developed by Roketsin. Analysts say the missile's capabilities place Turkey among a small group of nations capable of fielding indigenous hypersonic systems with strategic reach. Roketsin also introduced five additional platforms at IDF 2025. Akata, a submarine launched, encapsulated variant of the Atmica missile with over 250 km range, targeting both sea and land-based threats. Gokbora, a ramjet-powered air-to-air missile with a range exceeding 100 nautical miles, compatible with manned and unmanned aircraft like the TFX, Khan, and Kizilelma. Aaron, a turbojet-powered loitering munition with over 100 km range, designed to be launched from UAVs, helicopters, vehicles, or ships, capable of engaging both aerial and ground threats. 300ER, an air-launched ballistic missile deployable from fighter jets and UAVs, with ranges surpassing 500 kilometers, depending on altitude and launch speed. Shimshek-2, a two-stage satellite launch vehicle capable of placing 1.5-ton payloads into sun-synchronous orbits above 700 kilometers. It complements the upcoming Shimshek-1, scheduled for testing in 2027. CEO Murad Akinci noted that these systems are the result of intensive R&D, and several additional prototypes are undergoing trials. While Tayfun Block 4 remains exclusive to Turkish forces for now, some of the other systems, particularly Akata and Gakbora, could be candidates for international defense partnerships. According to Akinci, Roketsin's strategic aim is to cement Turkey as place in advanced missile and space technologies, develop long-range strike options, and ensure resilience against electronic threats. Each system introduced is designed with adaptability, speed, and survivability in mind, fitting modern operational demands. The debut of Tayfun Block 4 has prompted significant international attention. 
Greek media have raised concerns over the strategic implications, suggesting Athens may need to upgrade its missile defense posture. Indian outlets connected the announcement to the broader regional power dynamics, particularly in light of Turkish defense sales to Pakistan. Meanwhile, Turkish analysts emphasized the significance of building an autonomous missile arsenal, free from the export constraints often imposed by NATO allies. IDEF 2025 also provided a platform for Turkish defense firms to engage with buyers and partners across the Middle East, Africa, Central Asia, and South Asia. Alongside Roketsin, other key Turkish defense firms such as Baykar, TAI, Aselsan, Havelsan, FNSS, Otokar, and MKE showcase technologies ranging from drones and armored vehicles to naval systems and satellite tech. Global players like BAE Systems, Lockheed Martin, and Airbus were also present. The event highlights Turkey as intent to push forward as a major independent defense producer. The Tayfun Block 4, with its unmatched speed, precision, and range, is not just a new missile, it's a symbol of Turkey's commitment to technological self-reliance and strategic deterrence.